So what we we'll have here now is um, I'm displaying an existing application that I have already. And I'll be using this to illustrate to us how exactly this works. Now, an application that has record that is listed already. Now, there will be a button where we can pull down you know, to apply our filter, just similar to what I'm showing right here. And um, by the time we add an additional filter, we'll see how exactly that works for us. So let's stay tuned as we go to the codes. The code already is something that exists already. So we'll be using that. So here now I'm sharing my code, an existing Laravel PHP code from the application that I have already. In this application, I am actually listing out applications. Now here in, you know, in the structure of Laravel, you know, we know these are the typical functions we have in place, index, query, navigation bar, uh, fields, cards, and all that. But now we're dealing with the function. So the public function filter is where we are putting it. A few functions already exist there, now which we are returning. So we just want to show how ours can be added. Okay, you can see the existing you know, functions that are already there in the application. Now, underneath the branch filter, I will be adding the branch manager filter. Let's go on with that now. So to add this new filter, what I simply need to do is create a new function that will call this up. I'll call it brand, a new branch. Oh, sorry, I'm using cups. It's going to be branch. Okay, let me use small letter and all. Okay, new branch manager filter. Okay, now that's what I'm going to call it. Now, that function will be passing, I remember, will be passing um, the following. Now, from my application stable, which exists already, since I'm dealing with the branch manager, I have a branch manager field, right? Let's see, okay, applications. Um, yeah, now for assigned agents, which is which I have assigned agent ID in my applications table, I'm going to use this to reference the branch manager via the employee record. But now, here's what we need for now from the applications table, we are picking the assigned agents ID and um, Let's label this particular filter branch branch manager. Okay, I'll call it this. Now it's as simple as this to define a filter within the filter function. Um, in my own case, now I want to define who can see it. Okay, so let's see. Since there are various users that uses the application, you know, we use the can see, you know, to, to control who can actually see, you know, maybe like in our case, this particular filter. Okay, so we might have 10 filters, two are visible to you know, user A, three are visible to user B and all such. So now I'm going to use this to create a who can see, just for us to understand how this works perfectly. So um, since we're passing a request by default, I'm going to use this to pass um, the default um, users that my sign in per time. Okay, so just watch as I type up how that works. Okay, this is just a remark to show that um, a variable is being picked from the user model. Okay. Mm 
So I'm going to, from the request now, I'm automatically passing whichever user logs in into the user variable that I defined just here. Okay, sorry, I have to remove this here. Okay, so I automatically pass that into it. And um, when I do that, now I can state who is seeing what. So it's going to return a user. Okay. Is admin or, or finance. Now, this, this users have been predefined, you know, in some other aspects of the application. So, what I'm simply doing here now is I'm restricting this from, I mean, filter I created to that, um, to this set of users only. So, anybody out of this league will not be able to see it. Okay. But if the core part of, um, calling this creating this um, filter is that new branch filter you know and what we're returning so now we have called it um, a name branch manager filter we need to create a file in the filter folder in the app you know nova filter we're going to create a file and call it a branch manager filter to reference um this. So that's the file that's going to be called up whenever we're applying this um, filter. But, um, okay. But before we go on, you know, since we're calling a file from outside, this is the file name. Let's just copy that name so that I won't misspell anything, just exactly as we have used it. Now, at the top of our application where we call um, the stuff we use, I think I've put it in there somewhere already. Let's check out. Okay, so I'm calling app Nova filter here. Okay, let me rewrite the name. Branch manager filter. So I'm calling it up from there. That means I have to go and create a file in the filters folder. Okay, so I'll quickly go up now. Okay, so we have all these sets. Um, something is wrong somewhere. Okay, I'll figure it out and fix it quickly. However, let's quickly create our file that we're calling up here. Okay. okay so I've created our file now. And now, by default, you know, we start our lines with on. Um, PHP. Okay, so <clears throat> to save our time, I'll just copy and paste a few of the codes into place. Okay, so now I'm using the namespace app Nova filter, which is where our file is located. Now I'm using a model and a few other predefined things like the requests and the filter functions. You no, know, they are predefined, and since we're putting them to use. I have to call them at the beginning of the file by the, the use stuff, okay? And um, from there, let's see. Okay, now sometimes I want to debug, so I like putting the facade log to help me debug. I'm going to create the branch manager class so the branch manager filter class and since it's a filter i may need to extend it okay just like that okay as a class So every other function I would need in this situation will be within this class. And I just need two functions. But before then, let me declare a public name of what we want to call that particular filter, which is branch manager. Okay. 
Okay, so that's that. That's public variable, which will be used along the line. Okay, so now to our functions. Now I'm going to create a public function apply. The code within this function is what is applied when we, you know, when we put that um, filter to use. And what exactly are we trying to achieve here? I have applications records. To each record, there is um, an assigned agent with their ID in place. In the employee table, which will be linking to this, each employee's you know, ID, which is the same as the assigned agent ID here, is connected to a branch manager. So with that in mind, I need to create an option so that when we click our filter, I'm creating a public um, function called options here right now. When we cl uh, click on our filter on the form, the first list of those branch managers that I want to select from is what is within this option here right now. So when we pick from here and apply it, that's when the apply function is triggered. So the options function here lists for us from employee unique values of the branch managers. So if we have five branch managers and all it just uniquely list only those five. Okay. So once that is done and um, we pick it, we select it and um, apply it. Now, remember what we have called up here now. So our function, um, our file is what we just created and everything is set. Okay, so it's as simple as this, guys. It's as simple as this. The options, they apply, you know, and uh, we reference it back from our main um, Nova resource file. Okay, just as what you have seen here. The options, calling up the branch managers, okay. So, and it passes all that to Ari. And um, we pick it, it applies it in the apply function here by calling up the employees that are, you know, are related to the specific brand. So finally, this is what we have just created. This is the filter, okay? It comes up something like this, such that when we pick and apply, automatically everything is filtered. So that is it, guys. It's as simple as So guys, that is it. As easy as you have found it. Now the same concept can be used in any application be it php application python application is just a function of um you know um, how it is applicable per code if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like to share and to subscribe we come up with content like this as often as you can blink stay tuned thank you